the Dragons Den as the Lake Orion Dragons are going to take on the Notre Dame Prep girls basketball team. I'm your host, Kevin McCormick, on my partner, Chris Pappas. And uh, to get right into it, we're going to start off with uh, Notre Dame Prep. They're 2-5, 0-0 and oh and in the league, uh, but they've had two notable losses, one to Groves and one to Water Vermont. Uh, their best player is arguably uh, a senior, Sarah, uh, Sarah Stewart, number 10. Uh, she's a very good player. And, uh, but the, you know, despite Notre Dame Prep being 2-5, they they're a very hard-working team, and they're a team that's gritty, and, they're, and they should get after it. Yeah, Kevin, and uh, I think uh, Lake Orion's main thing tonight should be to keep the Irish out of the paint. That's where they'll want to do a lot of their scoring is down low, and if Lake Orion can keep them out of their paint and kind of focus the Irish and try to score from the perimeter, the Dragons should be in a good position to win this game. Yeah, that's one thing that Notre Dame Prep is not very good at is shooting from the perimeter a lot of their game is built on the inside type of posting up type of game. So if the Dragons can do a good job at stopping that, then they will do a very good job at winning this game. And the uh, Dragons, they're four and two. They start off strong, they had four straight wins, and then uh, they've been kind of on a losing streak, losing streak lately. Uh, they've lost their two past games. They've lost one to Oxford at Oxford, that was 42-37. And then they've lost to Troy, 41-34 uh, at home last week. So two tough lo losses, but the Dragons are looking to get back on track in this game tonight. What do you expect to see from the night from the Dragons? Yeah, the Dragons, I want to see kind of them do the opposite of what you want to see the Irish do to Lake Orion. Attack the paint, try to get down low. Uh, Sophia Wyborski, that's kind of the hub of their offense, the center down low. Uh, I would try to run my offense through her. She can hit the shot from the perimeter as long as kind of, as, as well as hit the shot on the inside of the paint. Uh, Peyton Shadaya, she's one of those fast paced guards that can get up and down the court pretty well. And if they can run their offense through Peyton and Sophia, they should be in good shape. Yeah, Peyton Shadaya, a, uh, a very good guard for the Dragons. Uh, she's always been a very good guard for them. She's quick, agile, light on her feet. Uh, and she's very, uh, she has very good court vision as well. Um, looks like we're about to get the national anthem and player in introductions. So we'll be back after a short break. This is the home of Dragon Basketball. Today we'd like to talk to you about the MHSAA's Task Force on Multi-Sport Participation. The high school experience should feature a variety of activities inside and outside the academic classroom. For athletes, that should mean playing more than one sport. To that end, the MHSAA has established a Multi-Sport Participation Task Force to promote that goal and its values. Among the strategies are schools hiring coaches who promote and practice multi-sport participation, schools, leagues, and conferences rewarding multi-sport participation, and emphasizing the health benefits of playing more than one sport. The notion of multi-sport participation has gained more traction of late as prominent college coaches, Hall of Fame baseball players, and even Olympians credit success in later life by playing several different sports in their youth. And the sports medicine community concurs pointing out the cross-training values of multi-sports participation and the proven health hazards of specialization that is too early or too intense. The Multi-Sport Participation Task Force will continue its work in the months ahead to develop strategies that can be embraced by schools, coaches, parents, and student athletes. For more information, check out the health and safety page at mhsaa.com. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. Sports give so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. back to the Dragon's Den as we've just had the National Anthem and we're going through player introductions right now. 
Um, so Dragons Egg again, they're sitting at four and two. Uh, they, they are on a two game losing streak, looking to turn that around tonight. Uh, and uh, one player that they do not have playing tonight is Katie Janice. Uh, she will be not playing tonight for undisclosed reasons that we do not know, um, but she actually is the senior of the night right here, but she will not be playing. Um, I don't really know much about this team, to be honest. They've really been playing games kind of under the radar, really. No one's really been talking about them because they've been so focused on the boys' team. And again, this is our first broadcast of the girls. But, you know, obviously they look like they're doing well. Uh, they're sitting in the OAA red. And uh, we do not have their league play. I don't believe we – yeah, we don't have their league record right now. But I do believe they're at least 0-1 with that loss to Oxford. Um, but yeah, with them being uh, – Four and two right now. They have a really a, a prime opportunity to get off this losing streak yeah. with uh, Notre Dame coming in. They're playing at home. The Fighting Irish are struggling a little bit at sitting at two and five. They're not a team you want to look past, yeah. but uh, the Dragons do have a really good opportunity here to get back to their winning ways, get a win under their belt, and kind of get their momentum going again. Yeah, they can really make a statement tonight with a with a solid win because. I think in everyone's opinion, this is probably a game that they probably should win. Exactly. And they really should dominate because it's just looking at their stats, they're just overall better than the Fighting Irish. But that's that, that, that's no knock to the Fighting Irish at all because any team can show up and play on exactly. any given day. Exactly. So it's definitely not a shot to Notre Dame at all. But this is a game that the Dragons should win. It's a good way to get back on track and really kind of get that uh, really get that train going again. Yeah, and uh, there are two losses too. It's not like they've been getting blown out by their opponents. Uh, they were at Oxford. They lose by 5, 42 to 37, like we said. Yeah. And then the game at home to Troy. Troy's a solid team. They lose to them by seven points. Yeah. So they haven't been yeah. getting outperformed by a lot. They've just been not able to finish these games at the end. Yeah, it's just little plays here and there that are not that. Yeah, really just not getting the ball bounced their way, which is stuff that you just fix up in practice or whatever. And it's really the little things that make the biggest differences in the game, as we've seen. And that's one thing in the past that the Dragons have really done well of is really uh, cutting down on those small mistakes because something they've really done in past years is that they've really those small mistakes have really built up and they've got themselves in bad de bad deficits. Exactly. They, and it really it comes often just taking bad shots, uh, just not really moving move around the court. But this year, from what I've seen, I've watched some of their games, you know, we haven't broadcasted them, and you know they look a lot better. They look like a new team. That senior class is out, and now we have a new senior class in, and there's still have a lot of young players that are good. And I think uh, you know a lot of girls are buying in. You know, new, a new head coach Bob Higgins. Um, but this is his uh, this is first year on varsity. But he knows these girls because he's coached freshmen, coached JV, so he knows these girls well. And I think his system is working out well this year, from what I've seen so far. So interesting to see how you know how they'll play this game tonight. Their game is really based kind of a half court slow offense. You know, kind of like Notre Dame trying to work the ball inside. Yep. But the Dragons do a little bit better. Uh, they, they 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 have a lot of uh, tall players like Sophie White. Uh, they have a lot of fast players too, like Peyton Shadiah, and there's a lot of new faces, and I'm glad to see this, really. Yeah, and here's the thing. If you're trying to make a relation between the Lake Orion girls basketball team and the Lake Orion guys basketball team, yeah. is the girls kind of run a similar type of offense. Yeah. They run their offense through Wyborski down low, kind of like they the boys do with Nate Talbot, yeah. and run their offense through him. So it's interesting to see the relation between those two and kind of that style of play. So Notre Dame won the tip, but it actually was one to Peyton Shadiah of the Dragons, so... Dragons will retain possession, but it looks like they're going to lose right here. Ball close to the baseline. Dragons retain possession. Caught in the corner. That one picked off by number 10 for the Fighting Irish, Sir Stewart, their star player. Out to the perimeter now, number 33, Jenna Schultz. Schultz in the corner and trying to drop the play now. She's caught in the corner. Ligorian doing a nice job of kind of trapping that defense as they almost get a poke away right there. Driving inside, and there's a foul. Number 52, Mallory Wilson was the ball handler right there. She got fouled underneath the rim. That foul was on number 34, Megan Marshall, her first in the game. Schultz now, I'm trying to pass that one inside. Wyborski with the and Wyborski nice block. a block, and they are going to, jump yep, they're going to, they call a jump ball, possession arrow. Oh, they call a jump ball. I thought it was a travel, because I thought the uh, player. Wyborski had her hand on the ball, and she, uh, Notre Dame prep came down with it, so they mm -hmm. made the jump ball, yeah. Ah, okay. Great move by Wyborski there to get the stop. 
Like Goran running that 2-3 zone here to start the game. They're interesting. And, yeah, very interesting to start. It seems like they're kind of disrupting the fighting Irish, Irish offense so far. Stewart from the perimeter, no good. Fight for it inside again. Bridget Hawk, she was inside, she got the board. That one rebounded by Shadiah. Here she comes racing up the court. They got numbers, here comes Shadiah. Loose ball, out of bounds, and then the Dragons will retain possession. Yeah, Peyton trying to push the pace there, try to get the offense moving a little bit, kind of get out of, out of their half court sets early on. Just yep. didn't work out there. Yeah, it was probably a smart, smart reason, or a smart um, decision to not pass that, because it was kind of a, it would have been a very congested pass. Mm -hmm. That inbound tip by a uh, Fighting Irish, but Dragons still retain possession. She died now top of the key, trying to draw up a play now. Tries to get that one inside to Wyborski, no good. Here come the Fighting Irish now. Uh, that was a good idea though by Peyton there, uh, running that 1-5 pick and roll with Wyborski. Bad pass by Stewart, picked off by Wyborski. Here come the Dragons now on a fast break opportunity. And um, Wyborski's gonna slow it down. Nice handle by Wyborski too, bringing the ball up the court as your center. That was number 24 for the Dragons. Alani Contreras, she was Alani Contreras. She was inside, but she lost the handle of it. If Wyborski can push the ball like that off a rebound, that's really a good benefit for the Dragons, having a center that can push the pace and you don't have to give it to your point guard right away. Dragons playing really a full court kind of trap as that one's inside for the first points of the game. Number 52, Mallory Wilson goes inside. So that makes the score two to zero. Six minutes ago in the first quarter, the Dragons really, are really playing a uh, zone like how you're saying, but they're also playing like a full court trap kind of thing. Yeah. But the Fighting Irish did a good job of getting out of that trap and getting up the court and finding the open, the open man. Wyborski now. Should die out, out in the corner. Get the pick from Contreras. And look for Lake Orion, or for Peyton to be rather aggressive tonight too, to kind of get that offense jump started for the Dragons. Wyborski tries to get that one inside to number 10, Melissa Norman. And that one's inside, it's good. Megan Marshall inside, gets the bucket. Ties this game up at two. Yeah, we said pregame, we wanted to see Lake Orion kind of attack the paint there, but if they can hit their perimeter shots, that's a huge plus. That one, loose ball. It was initially tipped by Melissa Norman for the Dragons. Fight for it on the ground, and a jump ball called possession with the Dragons, so, give it, so they will get the possession. Good job by Melissa Norman. Tipping that ball out, not drawing a foul, and be able to make the hustle play and fight for it on the floor, given. Yeah, diving on the floor early on in the game to kind of give a, that all out hustle for the Dragons. Marshall inbounding from the far sideline. Shadai will bring the ball up the court now. Okay, pick and roll. Wyborski on the perimeter. She can't shoot if she's given the opportunity, but she's going to drive inside. Norman now takes the jumper, no good. Rebound by Wyborski. Good job by her. Going up strong inside, couldn't put it in. Loose ball, out of bounds. And the Dragons will keep possession. But like I was saying, why Borsi can't shoot if she's given the opportunity. So the Fighting Irish got to keep tapping her if they let her go on the on the perimeter. And definitely looks like Wyborski has improved that handle too oh, from yeah. last season. Last season you didn't see her bring up the ball very much. This yeah. year already, as first possession of the game, we see Wyborski go behind the back, bring the ball all the way up the court, and try to start something on the fast break. Megan Marshall tried to drive inside. She was fouled by number 31, Caitlin Jensen. That's, her, that's Jensen's first of the game for the Fighting Irish. Marshall's first free throw, no good off the front of the rim. And this free throw opportunity comes from Wyborski attacking that glass and being aggressive on the offensive glass. Second free throw now from Marshall, no good. Rebounded by the Irish. Here comes Sarah Stewart driving up the court, got it closely by Shadiah. Hawk now. Caught in the corner now, good trap by the Dragons. Contreras gets the steal. Oh, but she stepped out of bounds. Or they call a foul. I think, oh yeah, they, they call it foul. But good job by Contreras to steal that ball away and not draw, not draw a reaching foul as number 44, Mary Bonema is going to come in. She's going to come in for number 31, Caitlin Jensen. So Jensen will go out. Bonema goes in. I really like what I'm seeing, too, from the Dragons defensively, kind of drawing the Fighting Irish into those corners mm -hmm. as they trap and start to kind of poke the ball away. We've seen it a couple times that the Dragons have poked the ball away. That time they actually got the turnover. And Marshall got caught in the corner, stepped out of bounds, so the Fighting Irish will retain possession. Number 44, Bonema to inbound. 
Here comes Sarah Stewart now. Sarah Stewart again, caught in the corner, but she gets out of it, but tipped away by Norman. Norman, can she get it? She can. Racing up the court, driving inside. Layup wow. is good. Melissa. Melissa Norman got the steal, drove inside, got the bucket. Gives the Dragons the 5-2 to two lead here. Great. Way through the first quarter. Yeah, great steal. Way to go full court and finish a tough layup. Hawk long two, no good. And it was a attempt at a save from Mary Bonema. Couldn't save it, though. So the Dragons will get possession. But good, again, good job by Norman to get the steal and not go out of bounds because she was right on the sideline. Good job to her to not go out of bounds and go up strong and get the layup. Norman in the corner gives that one inside to Contreras. Contreras driving inside, right-handed hook shot, no good, rebounded by Hawk. Yeah, a little bit of a wild take there with Byborski sitting wide open on the top of the key. You would have liked to see her kick that one, that one out there. Layup attempt by number 32, Abby Wozniak. Wozniak, so she checked in the game for the Fighting Irish. That one's no good, though. It looks like a foul on the floor. Alani Contreras, that's her first, team second. And it looks like number 11 for the Dragons. Grace Buklis is coming, number 22, Aaron Humes. So looks like number 10, Norman, comes out, and 24, Alani Contreras, come out as well. So a fresh look for the Dragons right here. Pass attempt inside. And out of bounds off of Wyborski, I believe. Another good stop there, another good trap there, kind of on the mid block. Uh, the Dragons are doing a great job of poking the ball away early on. It was, a, it was a attempted snake ass pass from the Fighting Irish, but a good job from the Dragons to stay home on their on their defender or on the guy, uh, the person that, that they're guarding. There we go, yep, and another trap in the corner. Good job by the and Dragons. And Marshall, oh, they're gonna call, they're gonna give Marshall a foul, no. I think he call a jump ball again. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, they called the wow. foul on 21. They call, so that's on 21, Shannon Lambrecht. So that's her first. Good job by Marshall to draw the foul. Again, that trap in the corner, they're doing a very good job of pushing the Fighting Irish to the corners and then getting the trap in and getting turnovers. Yeah, that's the third turnover now through that trap, and they poked the ball away a couple times as well. Yeah, layup inside. It's good. The assist from Kiera Tierney, number 50. Because she checked in the game as well. But good job by, from Shadaya. Yeah, and Payne Shadaya has been pretty patient with her offense so far, but it was nice to see her get an easy look at the basket to maybe get her going. Hawk now at the top of the key. Stewart way over to the left corner to Bonema. Bonema spin move inside, air ball no good, but the Dragons couldn't get, couldn't get the ball. Here come the Fighting Irish now. Wozniak in the corner. She's again caught in a trap. Dragon did a very good job of that. And there's that another turnover. Yep, tipped away by Tierney. Here comes Shadaya racing up the court. Driving inside, layup is good. Paige Shadaya, good job. And again, another strong layup right there for the Dragons. Yeah, and the Dragons are really getting their offense going through their defense. Another turnover from those corner traps here in the 2 3 zone. This trap is really doing very good. Another one. Another one. Another turnover right there. Oh, but Shadaya lost the handle of it. She was trying to pass up the court and got hit from behind. Sarah Stewart now takes a jumper from the wing. No good. Marshall got the rebound and comes out with it. So here come the Dragons. They lead 9-2 just under two minutes ago in the first quarter. Dragons really starting off strong here. You like to see if they can carry this on through the entire game. Stein now gives that one up to Tierney. Tierney, spoon move inside, and she traveled. Made the basket, but <laughs> won't count because he... Should try to do a little bit of spin move. Good idea, just a, maybe a little too much of, uh, of, a, of a move there for him. It looks like number 20, Rachel, Rachel Baloney. I'm gonna, hopefully I'm saying that name right. It looks like Baloney, like the actual, like how you say Baloney. <laughs> so we're, it's what it looks like, so we're gonna call it that. Here come the Fighting Irish now. Long pass over to Baloney. Schultz driving inside, gives that one off to Bonema. Bonema, no good shot off the bottom of the backboard. Grace Bukulic up the right side of the court. She might get caught in the corner. Good, good job. Get down out to Humes. Tierney, three-pointer from the from the uh, from top of the key. No good. Here comes Bonema now. Race up the left side of the court. They got a two on one. Oh, good oh, move from fake. Bonema. Couldn't finish though. Rebound from Tierney. But she lost the ball out of bounds. Good ball fake there by. 
Bonamine there to kind of separate herself from the defender. And Mary Bonema did a good, good job to get that loose ball and race up the court. And they had the numbers. It was a two on one, but uh, uh, a defender for the Dragon was in the way, so she faked the pass. Did a very good job of that. Just couldn't finish on the layup. As that pass is over the head of Jenna Schultz, she retains possession of it. Baloney now tries to pick it back. That, that one's had the Bonema picked off by number 20, Abby Maresh. So it looks like Abby Maresh is now in the game. The Dragons are getting to try to slow things around. Bonema very aggressive on Shadaya. Shadaya gets past her. Vukulic now takes a three from the wing. No good. Rebounded by Baloney. Yeah, Peyton Shadaya definitely lost the defender real quickly there. Nice move, nice spin move to get away from the Fighting Irish defender. Bridget Hawk now guarded by Shadaya. Again, the Dragons trying to get that trap going. Schultz now top of the key, fakes the three. And we're going to call that a pass time. I'm not of a shot. A loose ball now picked up by Bonema. Baloney over the Hawk. Hawk driving to her left inside and fouled by Aaron Humes. Heard that one up here. Dragon's still doing a good job in that 2 3 zone. You can't give him a lot of credit early on. Only giving up two points uh, to the Fighting Irish right now. But you'd like to see him be a little bit less handsy there as uh, the Irish attack the paint. First free throw by Hawk is good. Rattles in. And looks like Mateer Rourke, number 23, is going to check in. And number 12 for the Fighting Irish, Mara Cruz, comes in. Rourke is coming for Shadaya. So Shadaya will come out. Rourke goes in. Did not see who. Did not see who the. Uh, who they checked in for the Fighting Irish, who, are, who came out. But Rourke looks like she will take over the ball handling duties as with Shadaya being out. Rourke, another fast player. She kind of likes to die a little bit smaller. As Tierney goes Good inside, finish. gets the layup to go. And that is the end of the first quarter. The Dragons have an explosive first quarter. They lead 11 to 4. We'll be back after a short break. The LOHS Dragon Broadcast Program and Orion Neighborhood Television have teamed up to bring you live broadcasts of several LOHS games and events throughout the school year. That includes all varsity boys basketball, varsity girls basketball, and varsity hockey this winter. If you aren't able to be in attendance, you can watch many games and events online. A subscription costs less than $10 per month, and half the money goes back to the LOHS broadcast program. It's a great option for friends and family who might not live in the area. Check out the live stream of Dragon Sports at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. ONTV thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bring Dragon Sports to the world. So, the Dragons lead 11 to 4, very good on both sides of the ball, really. Uh, they really got that offense going late in, this, late in the first quarter, but the defense is doing especially well. Only let up four points, those both coming, or one point, or two of those points for the Fighting Irish coming on a basket, the, the other one coming on two free throws. But nonetheless, a very good defensive performance so far for the Dragons. Definitely. And uh, we said this is a prime opportunity for Lake Orient to bounce back, get back in the win column, and they're doing it with their defense, only giving up one field goal in that whole first quarter. Uh, two points came late at the free throw line, but the Dragons, they can keep up this defense. There's no reason why they shouldn't come out with a win. The Fighting Irish inbound now from the far sideline. Bonema inside, layup no good, rattles off the rim and out of bounds off of a Lady Dragon. One thing you want to see maybe like Orion tidy up a little bit is maybe crash that defensive glass a little bit. It seems like uh, the Fighting Irish have been getting a lot of second chance opportunities. Inbound now. That was to number 52, Mallory Wilson, but she couldn't get the layup to go. But again, another offensive board right there for the Fighting Irish. Number 12, Mara Cruz on the perimeter now. Gives that one, that one inside to Wilson. She couldn't get it, oh, couldn't get it to go. Number 20, R Rachel Baloney had the layup inside, couldn't get it to go, and a tip pass out of bounds by Baloney. But it was a good pass from Wilson as she got the uh, initial post up pass. Yeah. And she tried to give, uh, uh, tried to get, give it off to Baloney, but and Baloney had the open layup. She hit off the hit off the bottom of the rim. Good set play there by uh, the Fighting Irish. Yeah, just good, couldn't finish. Yeah, good, good good play. Just couldn't execute. As that one tipped off the fingertips of Maresh, so the Fighting Irish will retain possession. Lake Orion starting this quarter off a little bit sloppy, so hopefully we'll see them kind of tidy up a little bit. Baloney now in the, on the perimeter, because that one inside to Wilson. Here goes another give and go. Yeah, they run that same play once again. 
Uh, that time it didn't work, but it looks like that opportunity is there if uh, they try to work their offense through the post. Yeah, that's something that you can, that's a way that you can beat that trap is that kind of give and go pass because you can quickly give it off and then cut towards the basket. Hopefully if you can get past the trap, you have a wide open layup. Exactly. And, and they've had the chance, just haven't been able to execute on it. Stat pass inside. Loose ball picked up by Aaron Humes. Here comes Humes now. Humes is going to try to attack the rim. Lost the ball, out of bounds, and they went off of her. So missed opportunity right there for the Dragons as they had the numbers right there, just couldn't execute. Yeah, but again, they got forced another turnover. I believe that's a sixth turnover forced by the Dragons. They just haven't been able to execute on offense with this second unit out on the court. Pass inside, no good. Baloney now out on the perimeter. Gives that one off to Bonema. Bonema going to shoot the three, I believe, and then give it to her. Two, now they gave her a long two. Her foot was on the line, but still still a good shot right there. We've seen a lot from Bonema here early on, too. Attacking yeah. the paint, the ball fake in transition. She didn't finish, but still a nice, solid move. Passing in the post, and now stretching stretching the floor and hitting that perimeter shot. Wyborski adds the perimeter to Rourke. Rachel Norman now, or Mel Melissa Norman now. She's trying to drive inside, lost the handle of it. Gives that one up to Humes. Humes fakes the three. Trying to drive inside. Humes has a, oh, had an open look, just couldn't finish on it. Looks like she hesitated a little bit once yeah. she got to the to the basket. She was surprised how wide open it was yep. when she got in there and hesitated. Baloney, oh no, miscommunication. Loose ball on the floor. And the fighting after where retained possession as Rourke went after it, tipped out of bounds. And you're going to mass substitution for both teams now. Yeah, Dragons going back to that starting unit, it looks like. Got a little sloppy with the second unit out there. Maybe try to get some decent offense running here. So it looks like the starting lineup is back in for the Dragons now. And it looks like number 40, Erica Gordy, is in the Fighting Irish. Another tip pass in those traps. It's really working good. As good that, pass. as yeah, good lead pass to Shadaya, but Shadaya wisely backs out of it. She didn't have the numbers right there, but inside to Norman, and she's fouled. Great look by Wyborski there from the top of the key, goes right down low, finds the open man, draws a foul. So that was on number 40. Erica Gordon already gets her first foul. Melissa Norman to the line for two. First free throw, no good. Clanks off the front of the rim. Number 11, Bridget Hawk comes in. She comes in for number 44, Mary Bonema. Bonema again. They very. She did a very good job in the time that she was in. Yeah, she's definitely been uh, the lead player for the Fighting Irish early on here. So both free throws missed by Norman. So again, another missed opportunity on offense, but another loose ball, another turnover. Here come the here come the Lady Dragons. Wyborski again wisely slows it down. They don't have the numbers. Shadai over to Contreras. Alani Contreras can't put it in. Here come the Fighting Irish now. Great look by Peyton there to find the open, the open dragon. As loose ball picked up by Erica Gordy. Guarded closely by Norman. Norman almost got the ball right there. Gordy driving inside. Good move from Gordy. Couldn't finish on a rebound from a Fighting Irish. That was uh, number 52, Mallory Wilson, who got the offensive board. Again, just couldn't finish. It looked like Raborski may have got a piece of that. If she did, that was her, that's her third block of the game here early on. A lot of missed opportunities by both teams offensively right right now. Both teams getting turnovers, just can't finish on them. Fighting Irish slowly coming back though. 11 to six here as we are midway through the uh, second quarter. Megan Marshall now driving to her left. Inside layup is no good, but she was fouled on the way up. So she will go to the line for two. And like we talked in the pregame, we said the Dragons really need to attack that paint, and that's what they're doing. Uh, they may have not been able to finish as many opportunities as you'd like, but they're drawing fouls again to the free throw line. Got to get on the free throws that you get when you do drive inside and get fouled. Marshall's first free, th first free throw is good. Nice looking form there by Marshall, too. Looks like number 30 for the Dragons, Kylie Anderson, comes in now. She comes in for Sophie Wyborski. Second free throw from Marshall is good. Nice. So that makes the score 13 to 6. 4.37 to go in the first half. 
Tip pass by Shadaya. Here she comes, two on one again for the Dragons. Gives it off to Norman. Norman inside, and she's fouled. Good look again. Peyton being aggressive defensively, gets the steal and finds the open Dragon streaking on the left wing. Yeah, really just careless ball handling ball handling right now for the Flying Irish. That's another steal right there for the Dragons, and a good job by Shadaya to re realize that she was in a two on one situation and get it to Norman, who got fouled. Norman's first free throw is no good. Bad bounce, in and out. And the thing I'm really liking from Shadaya's play so far, she's being very patient offensively, not forcing anything. When the opportunities are there for her to take a shot, she does. But when there isn't an opportunity, she's always looking for the open man. Second free throw from Norman, no good. So, or it is good. Bounce off the bounce off the back iron right there. So she gets that free throw to go. So it's, that makes her one for four. It's not a good night so far. Hopefully she can get better on free throws throughout the night. Loose ball to four. Ooh. And that's always dangerous to see right there as I believe two heads collided right there. I believe Erica Gordy for the Fighting Irish and Alani Caritas, or Con Contreras, they both went in. There are three players, but I think Contreras and Gordy collided heads as Gordy is on the ground, and so is Contreras both holding their heads. Yeah, both kind of laid out for the ball there. Yeah. And a head to head collision. That's not something you want to see. Yeah. Nothing really did to avoid that. Both players are going in hard. Just trying to get that effort play, trying to go after the loose ball. And this is just something that's really a part of the game. Can't really avoid it. Always not good to see. Hopefully both players uh, can come out of this all right. Yeah, it's, it, we look like we give a little bit of an injury timeout here. Yeah. Uh, Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza, located at 1091 South Lapeer Road, have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559 for more information. So again, the score is 14-6 with 4.17 to go here in the second quarter. Both players still down. Looks like Gordy now laying on her back. Contreras has been set, setting up for a while, so it's good to see Contreras. She's up, but... Still holding her neck there, yeah, too, on still, the side. Yeah, still holding the side of her head right there, her neck. Both players yeah, hopefully. seem to be in a little bit of pain. We're going to get a couple replays right here of plays that happened in the first half so far. We see Marshall's shot from the perimeter. That was good. That was the three-pointer that she had. Yeah, the only three-pointer in the game so far. Yeah, that was the thing. I believe that was the one to start off the game. And now we have a, it looks like we have a trap in the corner right here. Yeah, there's the steal from, I believe that was Norman, and that was her opportunity. Taking she, it full court. Yeah, taking it full court. She got the steal. Went up the right side of the court, stayed in bounds, got the layup to go. Good job by her. As that's the give and go from Tierney to Shadaya. As that's been working all night, and this is one of the Shadaya fast breaks that she had off one of her steals. And like we said too, Peyton Shadaya's been playing really under control. And she only has been shooting shots that she's been able to make. As that was a that was another stolen pass right there for the Dragons. As now it looks like Erica Gordy is up. Both players are up now. But Gordy does look a little woozy right there. As they're pointing to the trainer now. But Contreras, she gets up. She looks she looks to be fine. Obviously, you know, probably the right side of her head probably is hurt a li little bit. So so hopefully both players can get back in the contest. But good to see them walking off on their own power too, going yeah. to the end of the bench there. But with that happening, it looks like that will put in number 32, Grace Berger. So she makes her first appearance of the game for the Lady Dragons. And I did not see who the Fighting Irish put in for Erica Gordy. I believe they made, I believe they put in number 32, Abby Wozniak. I believe that's who they put in for. So here we go. Play will resume. Here comes Shadaya now coming up the court. Screen from Anderson. Tries to do a give and go, but a good job by the Fighting Irish to stop that from happening. It was a good job to uh, to kind of block that pass. And Anderson drove inside on the pick and roll right there. Uh, just didn't realize that that the paint was contested. Shadaya thought she was going to stay back. Yeah, and that looks like that may have been the first play of the day where Shadaya. Uh... So we have a stoppage of play in the court now. Like something happened at the score table. Maybe they, were, maybe they weren't keeping track of something. But, yeah, it looked like that was the first uh, time tonight Shadaya was not under control and maybe forced a pass that was not there. Yeah, I think she was expecting Anderson to kind of uh, kind of fade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of fade instead of going, going straight into the roll right there because the paint was kind of congested, but Anderson didn't realize that. As now 
Again, here we go. Caught in the corner again. This has been something that's been happening all night for Flying Irish, but they get out of it. Hawk now, perimeter, as that would look like it was intended for Wozniak, but. Another good trap there by the Dragons. Flying Irish doing a very good job right now, at least, of getting the ball out of those traps. Pass inside to Wilson, back out to Stewart. Wozniak now, good move. Good shot. Good shot, but can't, can't fall. It was a good shot selection right there from Hawk, but she couldn't get to fall. Good move for her to get the open shot as Anderson now racing the court, tries to get that one over the burger, and they can't get that one to convert. It was a quick pass from Shadaya up to Anderson. Anderson was kind of off balance a little bit, was trying to get the ball out of her hands before she traveled, and just a little bit out of the reach of Anderson. And maybe that's where you want to see uh, Kylie Anderson maybe put the ball down and go up for that, for a left-hand layup there, instead of maybe forcing a pass that wasn't there. Bridget Hawk now guarded closely by Grace Vukulic. Gives that one off to Stewart. Inside, here comes Wilson. Wilson, spin move inside, no good. Rebounded by Grace Berger. Players on the floor, play will keep going. Shaddai now wisely backs out of the drive. Gives that out to Vukovic. Vukovic tries to get that one inside to Berger, but good job by Bridget Hawk to stop that pass from happening. Here comes Sarah Stewart now. And like we've talked about this quarter, the Dragons have been a little bit sloppy with the basketball on offense. Mallory Wilson inside, double team, and she's fouled. So it looks like Mallory Wilson so far has been really the player stop. She's been getting a lot of opportunities, just can't put, put them in. But definitely want to keep tabs on her if you're the Lady Dragons. That foul was on Grace Berger, that was her first, but definitely want to keep tabs on Wilson as she's getting opportunities, just can't convert on them. But she got fouled right there. And so far, this second quarter has been a very defensive uh, matchup. Dragons have scored three points, and the Fighting Irish have scored only two. And we have about two and a half left here in the second quarter. Wilson's first free throw is good. Makes score 14 to seven now. 2.28 to go in the half. Second free throw, no good off the front of the rim. Uh, it was almost an offensive re rebound by Bridget Hawk, but she lost the handle of it as it went out of bounds. Bullet dodge right there for the Lady Dragons. As again, another offensive board right there. They aren't really crashing that defensive board like how you were saying yeah. earlier, and it could present problems later in the game. Yeah, especially if this game stays close, which it has been so far throughout this first half. Berger now calling for an inside. She gets it, driving inside, and look, she was trying to get a foul, but couldn't get that one to go. So yeah, she thought she drew a foul there. Yeah, no kinda, call from the official, yeah, she, and she kind of just lost it out of bounds. Yeah, she was trying. To, I guess she was anticipating the foul. She kind of threw it up, went out of bounds, so no foul called. So and, and again, another another dragon turnover here in that second quarter. Here come the Fighting Irish now. It's like Bonema in the corner now, getting caught, caught in one of those traps. There, and there's the poke away. Yep, Berger with the poke, but Wilson still has the ball. Out to the perimeter now, it's Hawk. Hawk driving inside and can't get it to fall. And that ball fall out of bounds, but it was tipped by Berger. Dragons may have caught a break there. It looked like she may have drawn a foul there, but no call by the official. Looks like Sophie Wabortz comes in, Kylie Anderson comes out, and it looks like the Fighting Irish are also making a substitution. Number 33, Jenna Schultz comes in. She comes in for number 32, Abby Wozniak. Bonema inbounding now. And that one is almost picked off by Shadaya. Shadaya went up for it, couldn't bring it down, tipped off her fingertips, goes out of bounds. And Payton's been at the head of this defensive effort by the Dragons, forcing a lot of turnovers, trapping in the corners, and kind of poking balls, balls free. Yeah, she dies very fast on her feet, so those so getting into those traps easily, or get getting those traps is easy for her, and also get getting those dudes as well. Is that shot from the right wing no good? And again, another offensive board. Or I guess you could count that a offensive board right there. Is the Fighting Irish still retain possession? Yeah, Dragons still not able to corral a defensive rebound here. Yeah, Dragons are really just lucky that uh, Notre Dame can't really put anything in right now, even with these offensive chances. Inbound off the bottom of the backboard. Finally, the Dragons get the, I guess you'd call that a board. I'm not really sure if that was a pass or I'm not really sure what happened right there. Yeah. But the Dragons have the ball. A long pass over this paint should die in the corner. Should die back out to Berger. Berger gets that in the Wyborski. Wyborski now. Crossover. Back out to Shaddai. It looks like they're going to try to reset. Couldn't get the play they wanted right there. And like we saw too, starting that break was again Wyborski starting the break. 
Wyborski fakes a three again. She can't seriously give him the opportunity, good but luck. Vukulic inside and can't finish on the layup. She gets it on rebound, puts it up, no good. And rebounded by, looks like, Sarah Stewart. So a missed opportunity twice right there. Another great look, though, by Wyborski. She's been passing the ball very well from the perimeter. Inside now, Mallory Wilson guarded by Marshall. Marshall did a very good job. A little loose ball picked up by Shadai again. She's been doing that all day, getting, getting those loose balls, getting those steals. Now we have a jump ball. Possession error goes with the Fighting Irish. Is Again, there's still 14 to 7, 40.8 to go in the first half. Again, a very defensive battle so far, at least in this second quarter. The first quarter was a lot more scoring, but this second quarter right now is uh, definitely, definitely low scoring right now. Bonema picks a three, gives that one up to Mock. Mock over Schultz. Bonema now almost traveled, barely got it off. Yeah, it looks like she's kind of hunting for a shot here, get a shot opportunity on the rim. 20 seconds ago now. Bonema now wants a three, takes the three. No good, off the back iron, rebounded. Oh, almost rebounded by Vukulic. Loose ball picked up by Bonema. Her jump shot, no good, rebounded by Wyborski. Five seconds ago, and it's out of bounds. And the Dragons, again, can't get the defensive rebound. They finally get it after that second chance by the Fighting Irish, and then turn it over so in the backcourt. 5.6 to go, this will probably be the last shot right here. The Dragons had a chance to have the last shot, but lost the ball that bounced right there. Bone him on the inbound. Mocking now with the ball over the Stewart, over the Sarah Stewart, and that one over her head, so 3.3 to go. Dragons will have an attempt at the last shot. But this is going to be a very long shot. They do get it in as they're about three quarters length of the court now, away from the basket. As they pass that one way back, so Shad's going to have to throw one up right here and tries to get a shot up, but didn't really go. So that is the end of the first half. The Dragons lead 14 to seven. We'll be back after halftime. This is the home of Dragon basketball. Vision loss is not something that you feel until it happens. Most people lose their vision from diseases like macular degeneration and glaucoma, not at birth. Three million Americans have glaucoma, and half don't even know it. 11 million people in the United States have macular degeneration. So many eye disorders can be treated if caught early. Make a plan today to get your eyes checked. Visit brightfocus.org to learn more. Welcome back to the Dragons Den as we have just ended halftime and we're about to start the second half. The Dragons are up 14 to seven here. Uh, it was a very good first quarter, uh, offensively at least, well, in all, all aspects of the game, but the second quarter kind of slowed down for both teams. They're really defensive. Yeah, and a few keys for Lake Orion Dragons coming into the second half. One is to crash that defensive glass. If you're the Dragons, you gotta get your hand on the board. And uh, another one is to keep trapping in those corners because you're for forcing a lot of Notre Dame turnovers. Shadai in the corner, three-pointer is no good, bad bounce. Rebounded by Melissa Wilson, or Mallory Wilson, that is. And here come, if I can average that one, swatted by Shadai, a loose ball picked up by Bridget Hawk. She gives that one off to Schultz. Schultz over to Stewart. Inside now, Wilson driving on Tierney, can't get it to go. Rebound by Tierney, and Shadai gets the pass. Two on three, here she comes. She gives it off to, I think that was, Looks like that was, that was blocked. Good. Yeah, it looks like the pass was tipped. That was trying to get that one over to Norman. Couldn't get it to go. Stewart now gets that one off to the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by White Borsky, but kicks off of her shoe and goes out of bounds. That three-point attempt was by number 31, Caitlin Jensen. And, and again, there's another lost opportunity on the defensive glass. White Borsky had yeah, it. had it. Maybe took a couple extra dribbles when she should have probably yep. held onto the ball, find, should, uh, find, a, find a guard, and get the ball up court. Hawk now inbounds that one, stolen by Kira Tierney. Here come the Lady Dragons now. Marshall at the right side of the court. Gives that one off to Tierney at the top of the key. Tierney now over to Shadaya. Shadaya gives that one inside to Wyborski. Wyborski gets, oh no, bad bounce. She had, thought she had the left-handed left hook shot to go. Tough but, roll. Yeah, tough bounce in and out. 
Three-pointer from Stewart, and that one falls. I believe that might be Stewart's first points of the game. She's really a star player. That's something that, somebody that they got to stop. But she can't shoot from the perimeter, so the Dragons got to keep tabs on that. And that's a big basket for Notre Dame, too. Uh, brings them within four points here, and there's still a lot of time left in this ball game, especially with how Lake Orion has been struggling offensively. Tierney now inside, left-handed layup to go. Gets that one to fall. So good job for the Dragons to respond to that bucket by the Fighting Irish. 16 to 10 now, six minutes to go in the third quarter. Here comes Sarah Stewart now and gives that one off to Schultz. Hawk now trying to find a person to pass to. Gives that one off to Schultz again. Jensen in the corner, tipped by Shadaya. Here, here, here she comes now, it's a two on one fast break. Shadaya gives it over to Norman. That one falls out of bounds, a good chase down. A uh, good chase down play from number 10, Sarah Stewart, as it was a two on one, but Stewart came racing in from behind, contested that pass, and stopped the fast break opportunity right there from the Lady Dragons. And the Dragons continue to get turnovers and force Notre Dame into turnovers. If they could corral a defensive rebound, they would be in good position for this game. Shadaya now. Call in the corner and get to, get to pick from Wyborski. Marshall from the top of the key. Can't go in. In and out. Rebounded by, um, rebounded by Norman. Jump ball. And it's like a jump ball. Pearson goes in the favor of the Fighting Irish. Tough, tough break right there. It was a good offensive board right there from Norman, but another Fighting Irish came in and contested that. And number 32, Abby, Abby Wozniak comes in. So Sarah Stewart's gonna come up the court. You know, we'll, we'll see if Stewart can kind of get back into a groove too. We saw her hit that shy as Dragons force another yep. turnover. Two on one again. Shadaya gonna take it herself inside and can't get it to fall. It was, looks like it was tipped off of number 33, Jenna Schultz. But even though the Lady Dragons are up 16 to 10, they've missed a lot of opportunities both on the defensive glass and just in second chance opportunities on the offensive side. And they really could be they really could have a larger lead. Yeah, if this could be a double-digit game if they could uh, attack the glass. Yeah, turn the inside, foul from behind. That was on Hawk. Hawk didn't like the call, but that and was Centurion to the line. You know, we've seen a lot of good action here in the, er, in the start of the second half between uh, Wyborski and Tierney. Uh, Wyborski passing the ball down low to Tierney, and she's been going. She's been putting in a lot of work in the, in the paint. That was Hawk's first foul of the game. Tierney's first free throw, no good, in and out. But yeah, Tierney's uh, being very strong inside. She's really been able to get some going right there un under the rim so far this game. So good job by her. Number Looks like number 44, Mary Bonema comes in. She comes in for number 33, Jenna Schultz. Second free throw from Tierney is no good. So another missed opportunity right there from the Lady Dragons ball on the floor. That one picked up by Tierney now, trying to get her second chance points. Can't get it to fall again. Loose ball, rebounded by Wilson. And now here come the Fighting Irish. Again, another missed opportunity right there from the Lady, Lady Dragons. A chance to give, them, give themselves up by eight as a three-pointer from Stewart. No good rebound by Shadaya. Good pass. Lee pass up to Norman. Norman going to take herself inside. Oh, a wild shot. Rebound from Marshall. She can't finish. Wyborski finally gets it to go. Wyborski kind of tipped it to herself there to kind of get it away from the defender and made the basket. Yeah, Shadaya had the, or Norman had the initial layup. It was a wild layup, but a good job from Marshall to get the board, just couldn't put it back up herself. But why she came in, cleaned it up, and got the second chance points right there. Slowly working the ball on the court now. Bonema, she she really wants it three. Yeah. She she's been faking that shot a lot. She really wants to take it but can't do it. And it looks like a timeout taken. A 30 second timeout. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies, 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. So, the Lady Dragon lead 18 to 10 here, four, just over four minutes ago, 409 to go in the third quarter. Uh, this is a better quarter than they had the second than they had the second quarter. Uh, they've been, you know, somewhat converting on their second chance opportunities and they and they've been doing somewhat of a good job of getting those uh, defensive boards, but definitely some things still need to be touched up as like I was saying 
earlier, if they had, you know, if they converted on even just half of those second chance points or gotten some of those defensive boards, this game could be completely different in the fact that they could really be blown out uh, Notre Dame prep right now. Yeah, and I'm not really concerned if I'm the Dragons when it comes to their defense. I'm more so concerned about the offense. Maybe they the offense, scored yeah. seven points uh, since the end of the first quarter. They put 11 up on the board after one. Only seven. Most of their points have come at the free throw line as well. So they got to start to kind of get back into a fluid offense. Yeah, even though girls basketball is naturally just not as high scoring as men's, you still want to uh, you still want you know score more points. Yeah. Since you still want to score more than seven points from the, in, end of the in first two quarter. quarters. Yeah. As that was a fast break opportunity off the foot of I believe that was Bridget Hawk. They had a three on one, and somehow the Dragons couldn't convert right there. Abby Maresh comes in for Megan Marshall. It looks like number 21. Shannon Lambrecht is going to come in. She's going to come in for number 52, Mallory Wilson. So a little bit more of an agile lineup right now for the Fighting Irish. Marash now out to White Borsky near the right wing. Shadai now will reset the top of the key. White Borsky inside. Left hand layup is good and one. Yeah, definitely. Wyborski got the mismatch there on the block. One dribble, turned to her left shoulder, and hit with the lefty hook off glass. Yeah, it was definitely a mismatch right there, and Wyborski did a good job of getting that pass and shielding the defender towards the field of the play, which gave her the easy lane for the left hand layup, and she got the foul. Okay, three points the old fashioned way, and no, another bad bounce. Again, more missed opportunities. Again, that was a bad bounce, but you got to convert. Yeah, Wy chances. Wyborski's been getting a lot of bad bounces tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. Bonema now driving baseline, gives that one off to Lambert. Lambert out to Stewart. Stewart takes the three-pointer from the right wing, no good. Rebound by Tierney, gets that one off to Norman. Stewart being a lot more aggressive here in the second half early on. I wonder if that's something they focused on in the locker room at halftime to get her going and kind of get... Uh, a couple baskets under her belt. Yeah, because she was very quiet in the first half. I'm not sure she, I'm not sure she, she took a shot mm -hmm. the first half. As now a 2 one one fast break right here. As that was blocked from Norman. As the Fighting Arrows had a chance for a 2 one one opportunity right there as Sarah Stewart. Wow. Three-pointer for Sarah Stewart. So that makes the score 20-13, 240 to go in the third quarter. Good shot from her. Sweet looking shot there. Very fluid under control. Got to be worried if she started, it starts to get things rolling. Yeah, very fluid motion right there from Stewart. Wyborska driving left and gets out with a fall. That spin move has been working for her. She's naturally left-handed, so that was an easy layup for her right there. But she did a good job of faking right, spinning left. Kind of the move we see from Nate Talbot. So. Yeah, and she uh, definitely has a mismatch there in the block. So you'd love to see her get the ball early on in the offense. Jumper taken by number 21. That was taken by number 21, Shannon Lambrecht. So a good shot from her, high arcing shot, but she got the fall. Brings them within seven once again. And since we started talking about how offense needs to pick up, both teams, yeah, both teams. are uh, hitting a couple baskets here. As as you see, I've, that mismatch is definitely is definitely being known right now. As, oh, yeah. As number 21, Shannon Lambrecht is doing all she can. Wyborski definitely has the size on her. And she's trying to do all she can to stop it, but she can't really do much. Why Borsky is just naturally stronger than her. And I wonder if we'll have a change here. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah that's, that's, what, that's what they're doing. After the third time down the court, Why Borsky on the block. Kind of yeah. have to make a change there. Yeah. So Lambert will come out. Looks like number 52, Mallory Wilson, will come in to try to combat Why Borsky's scoring spurt right now. Aaron Hume's also in the game now for the Lady Dragons. As that pass, try to get that one off to Abby Rush. It was at her feet, rolled out of bounds. And the Fighting Irish will take possession. So here comes Sarah Stewart now. She's really been leading this half so far for the Fighting Irish scoring-wise, trying to get them back in this game. Loose ball picked up by Maresh. Maresh inside to Vukulic. Vukulic, and she gets it to fall. Grace Vukulic, her first points of the game. Good look by Maresh down low, takes it full court, finds it, finds the open dragon right underneath the basket. Yeah, Grace Vukulic kind of got hidden under there, and... Ab Abby Rush found her as Sarah Stewart. She's heating up. That's yep. nine points here in this quarter alone. Yep. Dragons really underestimating her right now as no one really kind of, no one really pressed up on her. She kind of took like an easy shot, or obviously a three isn't easy, but she may look easy right there. Yeah, if you're the Dragons, you got to make somebody else shoot the basketball. Anybody but Sarah Stewart. Vuglitz now on the right wing. That one off the back iron. No good rebounded by Stewart. Stewart doing all she can right now to try to get the fighting hours back in the game. 
really doing all of her stuff, doing, doing it all herself as she drives to the hoop, tries to give him off, and it was tipped by a Lady Dragon. But Good yeah. idea there by Stewart, too. She sees the open uh, Fighting Irish right underneath the basket, just tipped out of bounds. I think, obviously, like how you were saying, I think that's an aspect that they made, uh, or that a point that they made strong in the, in the halftime. Uh, talk is, like Sarah, you, you have to get going. You're a best player. We've got to get you going somehow. And she got the message. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah she's been doing good. She's, like how you were saying earlier, she's been a lot more aggressive on all aspects of the game. Schultz fakes the three-pointer and wow. They say the, it's a long two. Yeah, long two. She had the corner three, faked it, stepped to her left, and they're marking a long two, but that brings them within four, 24-20. Like we said, if they couldn't get rebounds or couldn't get stops, it's going to be a close game. Pick from Humes now, Shadai driving to her right. Moresh now inside, takes the layup, can't get to fall. Rebounded by Wilson, here comes Schultz now. 22 seconds to go. So we'll see if the Flying Irish hold ball for a last shot as Schultz almost lost the ball. Peyton Shadai always being aggressive defensively, defensively trying to get a steal. 10 seconds now, gotta get a shot off. Hawk takes that one. No good, loose ball, rebound by Humes. They gotta go though. Two seconds, one second, Shadai trying to get up the court. Hey, ooh! Don't think Buklic knew how much time was on the clock. She tried to get it on to Anderson. But that will be the end of the third quarter, a very quick quarter right there. Not a lot of stoppage to play. The Dragons are up 24-20 here. Go mobile with ONTV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with ONTV to see what's happening in our studio. See upcoming events and watch ONTV programs in high definition on demand. ONTV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. So we're seeing those missed opportunities kind of have a factor late in this game now as we are about to start the fourth quarter. As now the Fighting Irish, they were down by 7 to 10 for most of the game. And now they're within four, off of, mostly off of the uh, ability of Sarah Stewart, who came in as arguably their best player. And she's definitely shown that right now in the second half as she's been on fire from three-point range. So Dragons got to find out something to wait, got to find a way to stop her and find a way to get something going uh, on on uh, offense. Yeah, and if I'm the Dragons, the thing I'm talking about at the end of the third quarter is get the ball out of Sarah Stewart's hand somehow, make somebody else make a play, and contest those perimeter shots because their three ball is definitely falling here in the second half. Yeah, and Fighting Irish doing a little bit of a better job stopping that inside game from the Dragons as the Dragons don't really have very many three-point shooters either. I mean, they have Sophie Wyborski and Payne Shaddai and Abby Mresh can shoot, but Shaddai definitely more, uh, she definitely will look look for a shorter shot and try to look for a three. She's not really a pure three-point shooter. The Dragons got to find a way to get something going. Shaddai inside, as I said, she, was, she likes to take the ball inside a little bit more than she does take the shots from the perimeter. Rebounded by Stewart. Up to Baloney. Baloney driving inside. Layup, no good. Second chance opportunity right there. Uh, the Irish game. convert. Yep. Two point game now. Mallory Wilson converts on that one. Here comes Shadai now, wide open up the right side of the court. Vuklic for three. And no good off the front of the rim. Good Re offense there by the Dragons, though. You'll live with that shot. Yeah, good look right there. Just couldn't convert. Here come the Irish now. Chance to tie. Bonema takes the three for the lead. Can't get it to go. Loose ball on the floor, rebound by Anderson. So the Dragons dodge a bullet right there. They keep the lead 24-22, seven minutes ago. Dragons gotta find a way to get their offense going here. Flying Irish slowly creeping closer. And it looks like there is a whistle on the floor. And a substitution now, looks like number 23, Matija Rourke coming in. And number 51, Super Wyborski. Shadai and Anderson both go out. Looks like there was something that happened near the floor. I don't know if a player went out of bounds, but the Fighting Irish now have the ball. So Fighting Irish, now they're within two. Dragons, if, if they haven't got the call yet, here it is, because Fighting, it, I, Fighting yep. Irish now within two. The Fighting Irish have been trailing all game long after the first bat, since their first basket. And another second chance opportunity. Mallory Wilson had two second chance opportunities right there, as now looks like a substitution, looks like Kira Tierney is going to be checking in at the next stop to play. Rort goes in strong, can't get the foul, gets her own board, and they're called jump ball, and the possession will go with the Fighting Irish. So the Dragons really fall apart right now. I think head coach Bob uh, Bradges is going with Tierney and Wyborski to kind of maybe attack the defensive glass, get some defensive rebounds and limit the second chance opportunities for Notre Dame because that's where the Fighting Irish are killing the Dragons. So now we're tied here. 
24-24, six and a half minutes to go in the game. And Sarah Stewart has checked back in for the Irish. Yep, sir, yeah, Sarah Stewart getting these fighting Irish back within striking distance. She takes a three for the lead, can't get it to fall. Rebound by Marest. And looks like Marest may got tripped. Loose ball on the floor, she's got to get it off. And looks like Coach Bob Bridges calls a timeout. That's going to be a 30-second timeout. So 24-24 here, six minutes, just over six minutes ago. So it's going to be a 30-second timeout. Be sure to tune in to replays of your favorite games right here on ONTV. Tune in Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week, so check our program guide on our webpage at orientontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also visit our YouTube link for games on demand, www.orientontv.org. So the Fighting Irish have climbed all the way back from being down at 10 at one point, and they have now just tied the game. And the Dragons are going to try to find a way to get something going on offense. A loose ball picked up by Matia Rourke. Here she comes. And the yeah. Irish using a little bit of a full court trap here. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to take a book out of the Dragons, or t take a page out of the book of the Dragons and start trapping people. And Dragons look, look, look a little flustered right now. As now we got a miscommunication. Jump ball at midcourt. And possession will stay with the Dragons, so another, again, another bullet dodge right there as there was a miscommunication that Maresh wanted to pick. Material work kind of got caught between two players. Yeah, and head coach uh, Bob Bridges. And another jump ball, yep. and that one goes possession of the Fighting Irish. Bad break right there for the Dragons. Yeah, Bob Bridges trying to give uh, Payne Shaddai a little bit of a rest here before yeah. she has to come back in to finish off this ball game. And we've seen without Shaddai in the game that the Lake Orient offense definitely struggles. Yeah, yeah, Material work definitely not experienced as Shadiah, and Shadiah, you know, has that experience under her belt, so that definitely helps her a lot, especially in these type of situations. Wilson now inside, guarded by Tierney. No foul called, but another second chance opportunity. Can't get it to fall. Again, another dodge bullet right there for the Lady Dragons, as as uh, the Fighting Irish had about three chances right there to put it in, couldn't do it. And it looks like we're gonna have a mass substitution right now for the Dragons at the next stoppage to play. And loose ball on the floor. Almost got that stop to play. Work now driving to her left, gonna take it herself inside layup, no good. A that, bit, yeah, wild shot. Yeah, a little before shot, and looks like she's gonna come out. Shadai is gonna come in now. Marshall coming in as well as Norman. So Vukulic, Maresh, and yeah, yeah. So looks like Royce then come out. So looks like that starting lineup is all in besides um, Alani Contreras, who's probably still sitting out from that head injury that she received early in the game. Yeah, she's probably out for the rest of the game. So Tierney's gonna take her place. Tierney, or that was Wyborski, who was, was trying to contest Wilson right there and fouled her. So Wilson will go to the line for two, exactly five minutes ago here. And the Irish could take the lead here, late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they could, they could take their first lead of the game. Has that first throw, no good, off the back iron, so. Missed opportunity right there for the Fighting Irish. Have a chance to still take the lead though. Second free throw from Wilson is good. So the Fighting Irish take their first lead of the game, 25-24, exactly five minutes ago in the game and a bad pass picked up by Sarah Stewart. She missed, she couldn't convert. And a jump ball possession error goes with the Dragons. As Sarah Stewart had the, she stole the pass, had a, Breaking sense, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's mad at herself for that one. And the Dragons definitely got to find a way to break this press. Yeah, they got to get something there going. Here we go. go, two on one, you got to convert right here. Norman gets Good up pass. to Tierney, Tierney inside, too hard off the back, or off the backboard. Here come the Fighting Irish, up to Baloney, Baloney fast break, Shadaya tracing behind, and she gets the fall. Three point lead for the Fighting Irish, 27-24. And the Dragons are looking a little, their cage has been rattled a little bit. Yeah, I think that full court press kind of surprised them to start this fourth quarter. They haven't yeah. been able to bounce back, haven't been able to get into a set. They got that one opportunity by Tyranny on the 2 on one fast break. Unfortunately, they didn't get the bounce, but that's really their only good basketball attempt here over the last few minutes. Here comes Shadai now. Got to try to find a way to calm this, calm this run down right now. 
Shadad driving to her left, gets that one out to Norman, the left wing near the logo. Norman out to Marshall. Borski fakes the three, drives inside, left hand layup, no good, rebound by Tierney. Tierney, second chance opportunity, can't put it in. Tierney trying to go up, gets the ball, tipped as so she got to go up. And they're called a jump ball on that one, possession arrow with the Fighting Irish. As why Borski didn't like the call, she thought that she stole the ball cleanly, but the ref said no. So, four minutes ago, Dragons are looking very dry at offense right now. Yeah, haven't been able to get, like we said, they've had only a few looks at the basket here in the fourth quarter. Here comes, here come the Fighting Irish now. Sarah Stewart now, she's been the, she's been the hot hand so far the second half. Inside, Wilson, that ball almost to the way by Tierney. Good job by Tierney to, oh, yeah. it looks like the ball was tipped out on the Fighting Irish, I believe. You know, it's very interesting too. Dragons have done a very good job on the offensive glass, but have not been able to really make an impact defensively on the boards. This trap, they're really working wonders right now. The Fighting Irish, and they've really been able to kind of slow down this Dragon offense. Dragons haven't really seen this much, so this is probably why they're looking a little flustered. Tier not inside. Pass. Norman wide open inside, and she puts it in. And it's like a timeout taken, a 30 second timeout taken by Lake Gorian. During this sports season, ON TV will be covering a large variety of games. Our sports coverage will include varsity boys basketball, varsity girls basketball, and varsity hockey games. Select games will be streamed live on dragonbroadcasting.org and will be replayed on our channel Comcast 10 and AT&T 99. Visit OrionONTV.org for our program schedule. So, Lady Dragons find themselves down 27-26 for the first time tonight. Three and a half minutes ago in the game, the Fighting Irish came out strong, came out with that full court press. Uh, Sarah Stewart's really gotten going, and, uh, and I now, think, now we're here. And I think that's a storyline, too, for this comeback for the Fighting Irish, is Sarah Stewart being aggressive in the second half, putting pressure on the Dragon defense, having them worry about her perimeter shot. That was one of my notes to stop, uh, stop Sarah Stewart. She's their best player, and they did that in the first half, couldn't do it in the second half so far. And oh, a hard fall of the ground for Norman, I believe. I think we, they called a foul there too. Yeah, they're gonna call a foul right there. Norman fell to the ground hard, she gets up though. Good to see her bounce back right off the court. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a very hard fall. So Shadai will inbound now. Dragons down by one. And the basket takes the lead. By right, Borski out to Norman. Norman gonna drive, wild shot inside, probably a bad shot. Rebound by Tierney, Tierney takes the jumper, can't get it to fall, loose ball, and retained by the Fighting Irish. So another missed opportunity, it's really been the story of the night right now for the Dragons, as a Wilson wide open, almost tipped by Tierney. Wilson gets the easy layup inside, and they extend the lead back to three. 29-26, 250 to go in the game. Shadai racing to the left side of the court, caught in the corner, gotta get it out, she does. All right, Borski's gonna take three for the tie. Can't oh. get it to fall. Norman gets their own rebound. And Shadai ends up with the ball now. Marshall fakes a three, trying to drive inside. Can't get the foul, just bad shots right now from the Dragons so far. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to rush. Yeah. When they still have plenty of time here left in this game to run, an run a nice offensive set. Here comes Sarah Stewart now. Hawk now near the free throw line, gets that one inside to Wilson. Wilson, another easy layup. She's been heating up as well, along with Sarah Stewart. Mallory Wilson that extends the lead to five, 31-26. The Dragons have got to find a way to get something going. Grace Berger looking to check in now, and that was blocked by Hawk. Norman tried to go up with a shot, she was blocked. And a fast break opportunity, here comes Baloney. Baloney guarded by Marshall, tries to go up, and a foul called. That was gonna be on Marshall. Yeah, the Fighting Irish here in the fourth quarter have really taken control both on defense and offense. Down 24-20 heading into this final quarter. They've outscored them by 11-2 in this period. Coach Bob Bridges didn't like the call. Looks like they're gonna call a shooting foul right there. Bob Bridges arguing that it was it, on the floor. Yeah, it was on the floor that it wasn't a shooting foul, but the ref called a shooting foul. So Grace Berger coming in. Tierney goes out. And he wins the argument. They yeah. uh, they say it's on the floor. Yeah, I believe one ref called on the floor, one ref called the shot. So, 
Potential bull dodge. This is a bad pass. Can she die get to it? And she fouled number 32. Abby Woz Wozniak, and that was probably the right call there. Should I did kind of yep. push off a little bit. But good defense there off the inbounds. Dragons making it difficult on the Fighting Irish to inbound the ball. And it's like a full timeout taken by the Fighting Irish. ONTV TV is getting ready to launch our brand new internet radio station. You can create your own podcast or radio show or sign up to become a DJ. For more information on the radio station, give us a call at 248-693-3377 or 248-693-1060. So, the Lady Dragons down 31-26, 1.52 to go. And they, Quite the turn of events, uh, you know, from the start yeah. of that first quarter. Yeah, they, they dominated basically about three quarters, and then the fourth quarter, uh, the Fighting Irish came out fighting as, they, you know, owning up to their mascot named the Fighting Irish, they came out fighting, came out swinging, and now they found themselves up by five off of the hot hand of Sarah Stewart and number 52, Mallory Wilson, both of them really being the top scorers for the Fighting Irish, and then Dragons can't really find an answer for them, really. They've tried everything, try to guard Wilson, and Wilson still gets a body, still gets a late to go, and offensively it's not helping how they just that's, can't get anything going. And that's what either. I think it is. The biggest issue for them is offensively not being able to produce a basket, only scoring two points here, and we have a minute and 30 left here in the final period, a yeah. minute and 50. Yeah, they got trapped on to get five points here in two minutes as that was a good job by Norman to tip the pass. Layup inside, rebounded by Norman, so the Dragons got to go. Got 140 to go. Got to find a way to get five points. This is a two-possession game. Don't want to force any shots, so you really don't have to hit a three right here. It's by Borski inside. Takes a, yeah, the turnaround. Couldn't, couldn't get to go. Almost thrown by Wyborski. A minute and a half to go. Dragons cannot get anything on an offense right now. And it's really hurting them because they are playing good defense. They just can't get anything on an offense. Shadaya gets good another trap. steal. That's really what they were doing the whole first half. Now they got to convert. It's a three on two right now. Marshall almost traveled. That honestly looked like a travel. Ref didn't call it, though. Inside, Berger goes inside and one. and one. Great patient offense. Good look by Peyton Shadaya to hit Berger there on the block, finish it with the ready hook and the foul. Berger hasn't gotten many minutes tonight, but she comes in a critical moment and gets the and one. Good job by Grace Berger in a critical moment to get the clutch shot. Let's see if she can complete the three-point play. And she does. So now it puts him down by two. A minute to go. A little bit more manageable now. Good job by Grace Berger, really giving life to this Lady Dragon offense. And if you're the Dragons, you don't, you don't need to foul right away. You can force try to force them into a turnover with your trap defense. Yeah, they've been doing a good job of that, forcing turnovers with the trap all day. And there Shadiah, it is, there's there the away. Here comes Shadaya now. Shadaya gonna go up with the shot, gets Got him the it. fall! Peyton Shadaya! And a full timeout taken by Bob, or by, uh, Bob Bridges. That's a full timeout. The LOHS Dragon Broadcast Program and Orion Neighborhood Television have teamed up to bring you live broadcasts of several LOHS games and events throughout the school year. That includes all varsity boys basketball, varsity girls basketball, and varsity hockey this winter. If you aren't able to be in attendance, you can watch many games and events online. A subscription costs less than $10 per month, and half the money goes back to the LOHS Broadcast Program. It's a great option for friends and family who might not live in the area. Check out the live stream of Dragon Sports at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Owen TV thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bringing Dragon Sports to the world. So, now we're tied up. 47.1 to go. Yeah, exciting ball game here at the Fieldhouse. 31-31. Peyton Shadai, like we said, poked the ball away again yep. for maybe her seventh or eighth steal of the ball game. Goes full court for a tough layup. Yeah, I really think that, I think the key moment was when Grace Berger was inside and got the A1 to fall. Again, she hasn't gotten many minutes tonight, but in the time that she's been in, she's made an impact as we saw right there. She had a clutch shot and a clutch free throw, and then Shadaya with the steal and got the clutch layup as that ball's out of bounds, but. You know, the turning factor may have been the Dragons not being called for that travel on the wing. Yeah, that's, uh, now that, now we look back on that, that could have been a critical, uh, critical point. The ref had called that. Definitely would have stopped momentum, and they probably could still be down by five right now. Exactly. But bullet dodge again for the Dragons, so we so we play on. And now picked up by Shaddai. Here she steal. comes. This for the lead. Shaddai inside. Gets it to go. Payne Shaddai taking over here. And a timeout taken by the Fighting Irish. Dragons lead 33-31, 30 seconds to go in the game. 
Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza located at 1091 South Lapeer Road have been a proud supporter of Orient Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559 for more information. Salute. So we're into a replay of that last view by Shadaya. The Paige Shadaya takeover so far, Lane Savage, she just picked off the pass like a safety in football. Goes up with the right-handed layup, the tough right-handed layup on the left side, contested layup, gets the fall. Very good job of Paige Shadaya, as she just has very good court vision as well, and she's able to read passes very quickly as we saw right there. As like I was saying, she just picked off like a safety, and jumping a post right, right there. And the thing with Peyton Shadaya too, is she's showing that she has that senior leadership. She uh, never seems to be under pressure. Down, they're down five with a minute 52 left in this ball game. Now they're up two with 30 seconds left. Yeah. A 7-0 run in the span of 80 seconds. Yeah, that's one thing that I've always liked about Shadaya, that she she always looks cool, calm, and collected. She, ne she, she never looks flustered by the big moment, as we see right here, is that is, those were two very big shots that she's made. Another she picks it off like yes, Shadaya making an impact. White Borders inside got fouled. Payne Shadaya has taken over this game defensively, her third steal in the last three possessions. Just when times look grim for the Dragons, they call their way back, and now they're up by two. White Borders got a chance to make it a four-point game. 27.5 seconds to go, up 33-31. First free throw from White Borders off the front of the rim, no good. So they'll only be able to go up by one possession, by three, if she can hit this one right here. And Sarah Stewart is on the court, so a three-pointer is possible for the Fighting Irish as that one gets, that one falls. So three-point game now. And it looks like we have another timeout taken by the Fighting Irish, a full timeout. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. So the Dragons up by three, 34-31, 27 and a half seconds to go. Timeout taken by the Irish. This has been this has been a crazy fourth quarter. There's, yeah, and you know, it, it's crazy. You didn't see this coming. Dragons were in control for most of this ball game. What, didn't really have any pizzazz going into the fourth quarter, and then all of a sudden, all the drama lets yeah. loose. Yeah, yeah, and you really saw that those missed opportunities in the first half, you really saw those kind of come back to haunt them in the second half as the Fighting Irish came fighting back off of the hot hand, like how we sang, of Sarah Stewart and Mallory Wilson. But the Dragons, you know, times it, it looked like maybe this one could get out of hand easily late in the ball game, but the Dragons uh, clamped up on defense and called their way back on offense with a clutch and one from Grace Berger and a bunch of clutch layups, a bunch of clutch, clutch steals by Peyton Shadaya, who's really taken over in this last minute or so. As now here come the Fighting Irish, they're down by three. So three-pointer ties. Sarah, Sarah Store is on the court, she has the ball right now, so a three-pointer is possible. So the Dragons gotta keep tapping her. Her and Bonema, as Bonema takes the three, oh. no good. Rebound by Schultz, out to Hawk. Hawk can't shoot threes as well, she takes it. That one, no good. Loose ball on the floor, and the possession is pointed by the ref to the Lady Dragons. So 6.4 to go. Megan Marshall comes in for Grace Vukulic. Dragons catch a little bit of a break there. Two good looking shot attempts at a three. Bonaman's three almost dropped, hit the center of the glass and almost bounced in. And the Dragons let me call a full timeout. Go mobile with ONTV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with ONTV to see what's happening in our studio. See upcoming events and watch ONTV programs in high definition on demand. ONTV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. So the game not over yet, 6.4 to go. The Dragons are in the bonus, so any foul sends them to the line. And the Dragons have not been good on free throws tonight. Don't know the exact percentage, but just based on look, just based on look, uh, it definitely, uh, they definitely not been good at the line. But again, like I was saying before the timeout, two good looks for the Fighting Irish and two bullet stops right there for the lady. Dragon as Bonema had a three-pointer, or as she shot a three-pointer, and she showed that she can shoot from the perimeter. And uh, Bridget, Bridget Mott, she also had one, and she couldn't get the ball either. And coming out of the timeout here, the Dragons have the basketball. If they can inbound the ball cleanly, they should be able to hold on to this game. Yeah, Marshall with inbound, it's a key inbound. You don't want to make a mistake right here. Especially underneath your own basket. 
by Boris Kunichita are probably your best free throw shooters on the floor right now. But we'll see what they get to. Looks like some rushes in the game too. They get into Shadaya. Shadaya, ooh. That was a close call. If they didn't call that that foul there, that could have been a turnover. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, Shadaya was caught in the corner. As a, uh, she tried to, she was trying to get it out of the corner and luckily she got fouled. The foul looks like they bailed her out right there. So Grace Berger, Grace Berger gonna check in. She comes in for Marshall. So Bain Shadaya was with a one in one right here. If she makes this first one, that probably, I will seal the game. Don't want to speak too early, but we'll put them up by four. Put them up by a two possession game, so. Key free throw right here, one and one. Can't get to fall. Rebound by White, by White Boris, but she got stolen away. And a timeout taken by the Fighting Irish. 34-31, 1.8 to go. Shadai initially missed on the free throw, so now we got ourselves a game. Be sure to tune into replays of your favorite games right here on ONTV. Tune in to Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week, so check our program guide on our webpage at orientontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also visit our YouTube link for games on demand, www.orientontv.org. All right, so 1.8 to go. Flying Irish down by three. I, they're inbounding from the far, far. Um, it's going to be a tough yeah. conversion here for yeah. the Fighting Irish. You have to get a long pass and try to get a shot up. The Dragons, you really just don't want to foul on the shot attempt. Long pass up the court, inbounded, loose ball, and that's the game. The Lady Dragons are going to win this game 34 31 as the Lady Dragons will move on to 5 and 2. A close one, but they get by. The Fighting Irish will fall to 2 and 6. And the next game for the Lady Dragons is this Thursday. Home, they're against Troy Athens. Uh, I'm your host, Kevin McCormick, and for my partner, Chris Pappas. This is the home of Dragon Basketball.